Hi you. <laughs> Just wanted to vlog a little bit more or a little bit today with you. First I want to show you my excuse me. <laughs> I want to show you my t-shirt. Check this out. That's Ganesh. He's mixing some techno. <laughs> See that? I don't know. <laughs> Just thought you might enjoy that. I was going to talk to you about triggers. Post-traumatic stress disorder triggers. Um, chronic depression triggers. What throws what throws us deep into a depression? Um, I have a few triggers. I gotta say, um, I was watching a YouTube clip the other day, which I, I gotta admit, guys, I'm sorry, I haven't been watching hardly any clips. Um, but that's beside the point. I did watch this one, and he was talking about triggers. And uh, through a comment about the video, I got a hint as to a huge trigger that I have I didn't even realize and so, well I'm, I'm only telling you this because it's the beauty of YouTube I mean I had to watch the whole video and then be curious enough to read the comments and through one little two sentence comment I figured or I got enlightened to something that has been triggering me for years. Okay, music is a trigger, and I didn't even realize it. Oh, okay, l let me just tell you what happens. Um, I can just be going about my day, having a pretty, you know, maintaining, keeping the flow going real steady. I'm not saying being great and I'm not saying being horrible. It's just steady and here's some music in the background in a grocery store or on a kid's iPhone or something and it's almost all music. It sends me into this plummets me into a deep deep depression where I can't hardly move. I can't turn on the camera. I can't talk to you. I can't pick up the phone and talk to anybody. And so I sit in my room where I can uh, not have any music. And Well, I'll have the background music to Tetris playing, which is very monotone, nothing kind of stuff. And that actually is a little comforting. But can I mean I, I just didn't realize it. Why I'm even post put, talking to you about this is is because I think it's good. I mean, social media I have my ifs about, and uh, yeah, I I participate. And I have a YouTube channel, and I talk to you on YouTube. But there are gifts in there. I mean, guys, <coughs> I don't know if the the guy who made the video, I'm sure doesn't he doesn't sub subscribe to me or watch me. But I would like to tell him thank you, because without that comment, I don't know how long I would go not realizing what keeps throwing me into this paralyzing depression and it's music I don't and why I haven't a clue I well I, no that's not true I have clues <laughs> I have attachments I guess or something you know from the past like right it's been years that this has been happening and I can't live secluded from any musical stimulation. You hear music everywhere. And I would love to enjoy music like I used to. I mean, 
it does make this feel really good, right? <laughs> it's kind of like that video I uploaded a while back that spontaneous crying. It will make me feel that bad instantly. And when you're in like in public or at a family gathering or with your kids and grandkids or something and all of a sudden you are like plummeting deep into this crying, sobbing, horrific depression. Wow. It's nothing nice. And I'm I'm a little stubborn. I Doctors don't want to hear from me because I don't want to take a fix-it pill. <laughs> I don't want to take any pills. I don't want to make it go away necessarily. I want it healed. Right? Triggers. And how do we heal them? I don't know if you guys have any clues, write them down below because I'll bet you anybody that walks, watches this would love to know if we have figured out how to heal the trigger effect, what happens to us when we get triggered, you know? I learned um, through counseling, a very good one, you could put your fingers on your third eye up here and so that you can alternate breathing out of the nostril like this and inhale through one and exhale through the other. See, and hold that one down. That right there will take away a panic attack pretty instantly. <laughs> Actually, it, I just did just talking about it. So, I guess in the middle of the grocery store, I can be like, okay, this bad music, I gotta get some <laughs> done. That's pretty. Okay, we can't really do that. But maybe if you do it before you go somewhere where, where you know it's going to be a trigger. If music, like music, if it's a trigger for me, maybe I could practice a good coping skill like that. Another one is to count from one to seven. And, and just just to focus the mind on counting. And then maybe backwards again. Actually, I'm going to go learn more about this one. I'm like, but um, counting can help something to take the mind and make it completely focus on something. Tetris has been my savior. I, I hate to admit how much time recently I have spent playing Tetris. It's been kind of fun because my mind is working really sharp in some areas, right? And it kind of shows in Tetris when I play. It's maybe felt feeling a little bit of excitement, which hasn't happened for a really long time. So, um, yeah, Tetris. Do you know what Tetris is? TetrisFriends.com is where I play. So if you ever see me, you can recognize me, Care Bee. Because <laughs> um, I care about bees. What are your triggers? Have you found any good coping strategies or coping skills for them? That I can't say we can make them go away because the triggers are all out there, you know, and they're, and they're in us. The trigger is in us, and everything out there is going to stay there, right? Music is everywhere. I can't go hide from it. Anyway, yeah, put your comments below. Thank you for listening. I, I love you guys, and thank you for being there. Thanks for your comments on other videos, because that was enlightening to me. I can't quite believe it, but it's very, very true. Music trigger. Hmm. Love you guys.